हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर इन साउंड माइंड विथ साउंड हेल्थ दो दिचुएशन इज नट इन फेवर अफ आस डिू टू कोड नाइन्टीन यू आर डिटास्ट फ्रम योर क्लसरूम फर ए लंग टाइम सो सुरजगंज अनलैन स्कूल हेज टेकन इनिशिएव टू कीप यू एटास्ट उथ योर लेसन्स आई एम अबुल कलम आजाद एसिसटेंट प्रफेसर इन इंग्लिश अब बेलकुसि गवर्नमेंट कलेज ओलकामिंग यू टू जयन दि अनलैन क्लस एरेंज बिरजगंज अनलैन स्कूल डेयर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रिभिया क्लस आई डिसकसड ट्रांसफरमेशन अफ सेंटेंस इट्स ए भेरि सीम्पल ग्रामाटिकल चैप्टर अफ इंग्लिश सेकेंड पेपर आई डिसकसड साम रूल्स अफ ट्रांसफरमेशन अफ सेंटेंस इन दिस चैप्टर उ मास्ट कीप इन माइंड दैट उल चेज ऑनलि उल ऑनलि चेन्ज द सेंटेंस उल ऑनलि चेन्ज द स्ट्रक्चर अफ द सेंटेंस बाट द मिनिंग of the sentence will remain unchanged today i will change any assertive sentence to interrogative sentence now i am giving some rules for you notice the sentences assertive to interrogative smoking is injurious to health you will have to change the sentence to interrogative very much uh, a familiar sentence to us smoking is injurious to health now we will have to change the sentence into interrogative without the change of meaning before changing the sentence uh, before uh, transformation the uh, transformation transforming the sentence into interrogative without the change of meaning we can change the sentence any sentence to interrogative by uh, taking verb to be or auxiliary verb before the subject replacing verb to be am is a roger or any auxiliary verb you with the subject if we write down the sentence he is smoking if we uh, replace is before the subject he is smoking injurious to health it's a simple interrogative sentence he is smoking injurious to health but we must keep in mind that when we will change the sentence we must uh, keep the meaning unchanged so in order to uh, keep the meaning unchanged unchanged we will have to uh, at first we will detect whether this sentence is affirmative or negative smoking is injurious to health it's an affirmative sentence so keep the to keep the meaning unchanged at first we will have to change the sentence into negative if we change the sentence into negative smoking is not injurious to health very simple chapter smoking is not injurious to health from affirmative sentence we have transformed it into negative sentence now we we'll have to transfer the sentence into interrogative so we will transfer is not before the subject then the correct answer will be isn't smoking injurious to health is it smoking injurious to health again i may write down another sentence smoking is not congenial to health 
smoking is not congenial to health at first we will have to detect whether this sentence is in affirmative form or in negative form smoking is not congenial to health it's a negative sentence so at first we will have to change, uh, change the sentence into affirmative we can omit not from the sentence to make it affirmative then the answer will be smoking is congenial to health smoking is congenial to health now we will change it into interrogative we will set up is before the subject is smoking congenial to health now another example she likes white gloves it's an assertive sentence you will have to change it to change the sentence into interrogative without the change of meaning so at first you will detect that whether this very sentence is in affirm affirmative form or in negative form she likes white gloves it's an affirmative sentence so at first you will have to change the sentence into negative we know that if we if we want to change any sentence from affirmative to negative then after auxiliary verb am is or was or have has shall will or modal auxiliary can put should do we use not to make the sentence negative but here we get no auxiliary verb as this sentence is in present infinite tense how we can detect that this sentence is in present infinite tense after subject we get no auxiliary verb but we find we get we find the present form of verb so is the sentence is in present in mid tense however we will have to change the sentence into negative at first for present in mid tense we have to use do not or does not after the subject as the subject is third person singular number we will have to use does not to make the sentence negative she does not like a yes sorry yes will go to does she does not like white gloves now we can change the sentence into interrogative we will set up does not before the subject does not does not she like white gloves doesn't she like white gloves this sentence is in present infinite tense so to change it into negative we have used do not or does not after the subject and to uh, make uh, change it into interrogative do not or does not goes before the subject now another sentence in past infinite tense he went there of his own account he went there of his own account it's an assertive sentence now you will have to change it into interrogative sentence very simple rule this very sentence is in affirmative form so we will try, try our best to make it into negative form then we will change the sentence into interrogative in which tense this sentence is in now in which sentence this sentence is, uh, is written he went there is no auxiliary verb here after subject we find a past form of verb so this sentence is in past infinite tense and if any sentence is in past infinite tense we will have to use did not after the subject to change it into negative at first we are changing the sentence into negative by using did not after the subject he did not the present form of verb 
go there of his own accord he did not go there of his own accord it's a negative sentence now we can change the sentence into the interrogative did not will go before the subject did it he go there of his own accord this is how we can change all the sentences into interrogative without the change of meaning yet i am giving more examples another example trees are essential for our existence trees are essential for our existence you'll have to change the sentence into interrogative without the change of meaning at first we detect the sentence whether it is in affirmative form or in negative form as there is no negative sign so we assure that this very sentence is in affirmative form so we will try our best to make it into negative as there is a major verb to be so we can set up not after the after a major at first we are changing the sentence into negative trees are not trees are trees are not after a major we use not after verb to be or auxiliary verb essential for our existence it's a negative sentence now we'll change it into interrogative are not will go before the subject and like that question trees essential for our existence note of interrogation aren't trees essential for our existence we may use some negative sentence their glory can never fade their glory can never fade their glory can never fade you we'll have to change the sentence into interrogative this sentence is a negative sentence so at first we will have to change it into affirmative sentence then we will try our best to change it into interrogative sentence their glory can never fade we must change the sentence it changes the sentence into affirmative their glory can never can always or ever fade their glory glory their glory can never their glory can always or ever as we will change the sentence into the interrogative so we may use ever in the place of never their glory can never fade now change the sentence into interrogative we will set up can before the subject can their glory ever fade at the end of the sentence we must use note of interrogation can their glory ever fade another sentence i shall never forget you i shall never forget you it's a negative sentence and like the above sentence we we'll have to change the sentence into affirmative at first we are changing the sentence into affirmative 
if we change the sentence into affirmative i shall never always or ever forget you we will change the sentence into interrogative so we may use ever in the uh, ever for never i shall ever forget you now we may change it into interrogative shall i ever forget you this is how we can sense any assertive sentence integer interrogative then you must keep in mind that to change the assertive sentence into interrogative at first we'll have to detect whether this sentence is in affirmative or negative if the sentence is in affirmative at first we'll have to change it into, it into negative and if the sentence is negative you will have to change it into affirmative then you will transfer auxiliary verb or modal auxiliary verb before the subject to uh, transfer the sentence into interrogative sentence this is how the meaning will remain unchanged but only the structure will be changed from assertive to interrogative now another rule everybody wishes to be happy in life everybody wishes to be happy in life how can we change the sentence into interrogative if the sentence begins with everybody we can change the sentence into interrogative by using a wh who by using a wh who everybody wishes to be happy at first you will have to change the sentence into negative everybody does not wish to be happy in life you have changed affirmative sentence into negative sentence everybody does not wish to be happy in life now we will use who in the place of everybody to change the sentence into interrogative for everybody we will use who who does not wish to be happy in life not of interrogation everybody wishes to be happy in life as this sentence is an affirmative sentence at first we'll change the sentence into negative everybody wishes everybody present in mid tense for present in mid tense we have to use does do not or does not does not after the subject everybody third person singular for third person singular number we have used does not everybody does not wish to be happy in life now we have to replace everybody by using wh who who does not wish to be happy in life another sentence everybody respects an honest man everybody respects an honest man this this is an affirmative sentence so to change it into interrogative sentence at first you will have to change the sentence into negative everybody for present in mid tense we use does not respect an honest man everybody does not respect an honest honest man yes will go with does do does it do 
everybody does not respect an honest man. Now we will transfer the sentence into interrogative, does not will go before the sorry interrogative, we will use who in the place of everybody who does not respect an honest man, who does not respect an honest man. Now another sentence, nobody trusts a liar, it is also an assertive sentence and we will have to change the sentence into interrogative without the change of meaning. Notice that this very sentence is, an, is a negative sentence, nobody, nobody trusted liar. So our answer will be in affirmative form to keep the meaning unchanged. Here we may use WS for nobody who trusted liar, we can change nobody by using who, another sentence. None can avoid death. This is an uh, this is a negative sentence. So our answer will be in affirmative form. We may use WS who in the place of none to change the sentence into interrogative. Who can avoid death? Who can avoid death? This is how we can change any interrogative assertive sentence into interrogative sentence, interrogative. You should, you will try your best to practice the rules again and again. It is a very simple rule to change the sentence from assertive to interrogative. In the next class, I will try my best to discuss another rules. Thank you very much. See you again.